Tonight, a bipartisan vote to advance an infrastructure bill on Capitol Hill has failed. And at the same time, the House Speaker has blocked some Republicans from a committee to investigate the January 6th Capitol insurrection. CBS 2's Dick Brennan following all of this tonight, and he is here to sort it all out. Dick? Christina Marie's a lot to sort out. Two issues, major divides on Capitol Hill. An infrastructure bill stalls, and Republicans and Democrats can't even agree on who among them should investigate the January 6th riot. The move to investigate the January 6th riots has descended into partisan bickering. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the investigating committee will not include Republican Congressman Jim Banks and Jim Jordan, in part because of their staunch support of President Trump. In a statement, Pelosi said, with respect for the integrity of the investigation, with an insistence on the truth, and with concern about statements made and actions taken by these members, I must reject the recommendations. The Republican leadership says the move by Pelosi is outrageous. This represents something that has not happened in the House before for a select committee by the historian. It's an egregious abuse of power. Pelosi has broken this institution. So now Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy says Republicans will conduct their own investigation into what happened on January 6th when both Banks and Jordan voted not to count the electoral votes of Joe Biden. What happened all last year? The Democrats normalized anarchy. They normalize rioting and looting. But Democrats say their committee can now go forward without what they call the sabotage of disruptors. McCarthy's decision to seat Jim Jordan was intentional, and he's trying to make a mockery, like most of his other work, make a mockery of pretty much everything he touches. On the Senate floor, the first big bipartisan legislation of President Biden's hit a roadblock, a procedural vote that was supposed to be a deadline to iron out differences on an infrastructure framework. We all want the same thing here to pass a bipartisan infrastructure bill. But in order to finish the bill, we first need to start. Senator Schumer is not giving the bipartisan infrastructure negotiations an opportunity to reach a conclusion. Now, on top of all that, Democrats and Republicans are also battling over whether to increase the debt limit. The national debt currently stands at more than $28 trillion. The Congressional Budget Office estimates U.S. Treasury could run out of cash sometime this fall. And that's another debate for them to hash out. It sure is. How many are there, Dick? They're, they're endless, I guess. Thank you.